plotting of signals and the equivalent frequency transform. So let's do a quick example. And uh, so I'll just call it uh, my test one to P1. Okay, and I'll just paste the code in and then we'll have a look to see what it does. Okay, so it's a very simple one. Uh, we're using the matplotlib library and the maths one to uh, integrate uh, the plotting function and also to get the sign function from, from math. So this is just basically going to do a thousand iterations. It's going to do a time domain or an x-axis for us every 0 0.01 seconds. It's going to calculate the sine wave and, and that's it. Okay, so we'll just run that to see what we get. Okay, so a simple uh, simple sine wave there period is about six seconds or so. Okay, so for the next one, what we'll do is we'll use the NumPy library. In this case, it creates uh, our list for us for the x-axis from start time to an end time in a certain time step and then it also creates the list for the y-axis if we just give it the function it takes the x list here and then we'll create the y list for us and we can plot that so a really useful library that uh, really helps us so much so as I said there where this will create the list if we want to see what the list looks like let's print it out Okay, so this time what we'll do is we'll just run that. Okay, so again, it produces the same thing, really. Uh, and there's the x-axis, it's in 0 0.01 steps. And then there's the y-axis, which is plotting the sine wave. Okay. So for the next part, what we'll do is that we'll add a cosine function to the waveform. And we'll just plot them side by side just now. And I'll just, oops, then we'll just paste it in. Paste. Okay, this time we're printing the cosine. that running there and we should see the sign is in blue and the cosine is in green it's a 90 degree shift so we can also uh, integrate uh, another library called Skype which will give us all our signals that we actually need so then what we'll do is we'll just open this one up and we'll get that pasted in in this case we're going to generate a sawtooth with a frequency of 5 hertz and we're going to plot that and sometimes the PDF doesn't copy correctly so just watch and there we are so that's a sawtooth there so hopefully we've got 5 cycles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in 1 second so it's 5 hertz Okay, so the next one we're going to do is a square wave. Oops. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just use this one just to save time. And then just copy that. It's much the same as the other one. And this time we should get a square wave. Hasn't pasted very well, but uh, never mind. Just get it all back. It's pi times 5 times t. It's a list. And that's it then. And that's equal to ys.
Okay, so signal dot square to times n pi times five, and we've just got an extra bracket at the end there. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's five hertz. And we have a square wave. So the next one we're going to do is a is a Gaussian modulated sinus sinusoid, and uh, we'll see this a little bit later on. But it, it's like a bit like a pulse that happens on the line. Looks a bit like a sine wave that decays. So we'll just get that one opened up, and we'll call it that one out. And hopefully this time it'll come in a bit better. That's okay. Okay, so we just check that we have all the parameters correct, and we do. Okay, so there it's there. It's like a sine wave that's been attenuated at, at down to zero. So we, you can investigate the different parameters that we have there uh, when you have time. The next one is is a chirp or a frequency generated cosine sweep. So we'll start off with a low frequency of zero hertz and then it'll go up to five hertz in a certain time window. So let's do that one. That's there and then we'll just paste that one in. Paste it there. Okay, we just check that we've got everything fine there. It's going to go up to five hertz. And there we go there. So we see the frequency is increasing up to about up to five hertz there. Okay, and often what we do is that we can difficult to analyze things in the, the time domain. So we convert it into the frequency domain, typically using what's called the fast Fourier transform. So in this case, uh, I have integrated an FFT. And uh, we're we'll just using the NumPy library. So we we'll just copy that one. And we're just going to paste that in. It's coming. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to plot our sine wave. And we've got a frequency of 5 hertz. This is the bit that does the that does the FFT here. It puts into a number of frequency bins, and then we're going to create two plots. First plot uh, will plot our sine wave, and then the second plot will plot the FFT for us, hopefully. So in this case, what we should see is is a single is a single frequency because it's a pure sine wave. There we go. Okay, so we'll see a single frequency at five hertz because this is five five cycles in one second. Now what we'll do is we'll change it to ten, just to make sure that uh, things are working. Okay, so we'll change the frequency to ten, and we'll run it again, and then this time we should see the frequencies at ten, and we've got ten cycles in one second. So everything's working fine there. Now what we'll do is we'll increase the, the sawtooth waveform. So the sawtooth waveform was here. And then we'll just get that integrated. And what I'll do is I'll just comment that one out and put this one in. Okay, we'll just change a few things there. And it should be Y. That's fine. So this time, what we'll see is a number of uh, fundamental frequencies. So we just need to integrate our extra library. I just coming in from Skype. Here. There, we should be good to go. OK, 
Okay, so this time what we see is there's a little bit of a zero frequency there, the, the average value, uh, as we would get. There's the average value there. And then we see a fundamental. The fundamental sits at 5 hertz, because we've got 5 cycles per second. Then we've got a second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. And it decays as it goes on. So this waveform is made from a number of harmonics. And that what we do is we use a square wave. A square wave is actually quite similar in uh, in its profile. We'll see. Oops. And it also uses harmonics. Uh, but we can see they decay faster, and in this time they are odd harmonics. The last time we saw second, third, fourth, and so on, we can see the second is missing from the square wave. So we have our fundamental at 5 hertz, none at 10, that's the second, and then the third. So a square wave is made up from odd harmonics which are decaying. Okay, so the next one we'll do is we'll look at our Gaussian modulated sinusoidal. So this time what we'll see is a, is a more continuous uh, waveform. Okay, the other ones, what we saw was impulses around certain frequencies. This is more continuous. But we can see again, it's sitting around the 5 hertz fundamental there. And we can see the shape of this. It's like a sine, cosine, but it's been uh, attenuated over time. And then the last one. In this section, we'll have a look at the chirp. Remember, the chirp is an increasing frequency, in this case up to 5 hertz, and we'll have a look to see what that looks like. There. We'll just paste that in. And OK, it's going to start at 0, goes up to 5 hertz. And we just need to get a time. And that's that there. So it's kind of similar, but uh, we can see we've got slightly lower frequency here as a peak, and it decays off there. But again, it's a continuous uh, waveform. Okay, and now what we'll do is we'll have a look at the a, wa a waveform with harmonics. So we've seen that the waveforms that we generated have got harmonics in them. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at, uh, at, at a waveform which has harmonics. In this case it's got the first fundamental and the third. So the third is 0.5 of the fundamental Okay, so there's the fundamental, and then this is a third, a third harmonic. You can see here it's starting to look a little bit like a square wave. We've got the first and the third, and it's starting to look a bit more square. And that's the output there. So square waves are actually made up with a, a third of the third harmonic, a fifth of the fifth harmonic, seventh of the seventh harmonic, and so on. So what we'll do is that we'll add in another another one here. So we'll just add in, um, so we'll make that third. And then we'll 
talking about fifth times NP. Sine two times n p pi times five times frequency times t. Okay, and then just let us check. That's okay. So it's point two n p dot sine two times n p pi frequency times t. Okay, so it's looking much more like it now. So we now have a fundamental, we have a third, and we have a seventh, and it's starting to look like a square wave. And really this is what happens if we limit the bandwidth uh, of a channel, then we're getting rid of some of the higher level frequencies, and when we look at digital pulses, they actually start to look like this, because we've limited the high, the high level frequencies. Okay, so if you have a look at uh, the square, square waveform, you should, you should be able to generate a fairly good representation of it. Okay, so that's been a quick introduction to some signals and some f uh, Fourier transforms with Python.